I think with what my colleague was trying to say is that the cost of doing business in this state for a small business owner will go up as a result of this legislation. Um, and when I heard about this bill coming to the floor this morning, I, I wondered how some of my colleagues felt about uh, businesses in the state. So I, I took liberty and I, I looked on some people's websites. And without mentioning names, here's what I found. Uh, on one person's website, so-and-so is determined to make New York State more business friendly. On another person's website, creating jobs has been so-and-so's top priority. On another website, so-and-so is going to attract new businesses to the state. Uh, that was just three examples. But I suspect that when we all ran for office, we made similar statements, pledging support for the business community of this state, trying to enhance uh, the business acumen of the state, and trying to bring more jobs. A vote for this bill would violate that pledge. Um, and truth be told, this is a poorly targeted method of meeting the goals that, that Mr. Wright is so nobly trying to attain. A better option would be an expansion of the state's earned income tax credit. If we, the government, want this to happen, we want to put more money into the pockets of the working poor, why shouldn't we, the government, then be a partner in that process and at least say, hey, we'll take less money as well? Uh, I'm not stupid. I know the reality of, of this bill and where it's going to go. I just hope that the earned income tax credit will be uh, included in the debate from this point on. Thank you very much.